Welcome. Now, if you're watching this video, chances are you are a woman in your 40s or 50s and you're struggling. Hormones are changing midlife. Midlife is here with a vengeance. Okay, so not only is that weight creeping up, even though you might not have changed anything and you're not sure what to do because you tried it all. You've tried to restrict the calories and do the diets and do more exercise and all the things that used to work and they don't work anymore. So the first thing I want to give you just a little relief and clarity on it is not the hormones and it's not your fault. I'm going to share with you a three-step system. Now this system is going to help you lose five to 10 pounds in just 30 days, but you have to be consistent with it. And it is so easy that you just got to stay on track. Now this is helping women over 40 with tremendous results that are lasting because my definition of success is not that we get the results and then we gain it all back. That to me, that's failure, right? I want to show you how you can just change these simple little steps in your day-to-day -day life right now, and they're going to feel normal. And that's what's most exciting. So what I want to share with you, uh, of course, might just might help your hormones a bit, but is definitely gonna see that scale start to drop, clothes start to feel better again, belly start to just feel like you have some more control. Now, 30 days is not a long time, it's four weeks, so you have to be very vigilant. And obviously you're not gonna lose a mass amount of weight in 30 days, but you're not gonna have to count calories and you don't have to do an exercise program. I know, isn't that crazy? But you have to follow these steps and be honest with yourself. Okay, so the first step I'm going to share with you today is you need to create a morning. I'm gonna actually bring this in front. You're gonna to have to start a morning and an evening routine. Now, I'm gonna share why this is important and what this is gonna do because I'm sure you're thinking, well, I can skip that one. That's an easy skip because that's not gonna help me lose any extra weight. It is though, because here's the thing. What we wanna do is we wanna change what's going on up here and what we got going on up here is that diet programs is the only thing. It's the only thing that you, that's worked for me before and it must be the only thing that can ever work because calories in versus calories out. I can't change that right now. What I can do is have you believe every single day that you can just do something, okay? And the more you start to believe in yourself, the better and better you're going to get at these simple steps. So these are only three steps. So the first one, and what does it look like in a morning routine? And I know there's a little glare from the window, but a morning routine looks like this for me. I wake up in the morning. I don't have, uh, I don't grab my phone right away. That's my first suggestion. Do not look at any technology, any social media. Please don't start your day that way. Just have a morning routine set up ahead of time. So the night before, really get it, get in clear what you want to do in the morning. So for me, this is mine. I wake up in the morning. I have my water. I actually drink electrolyte water. It's helped me tremendously. It's a whole nother step. Something that I found women over 40 need and don't get. And it makes a big difference in a lot of areas. But we're talking about three steps today. So I wake up, I drink my water. So either regular water, maybe with a little pink Himalayan salt, so like a pinch uh, in your water. That'll help with the same idea. I drink my water and then I have that time to just either meditate or pray five to 10 minutes. You don't need a long time. And then I journal, like I write down and guys, when I say journal, I don't mean like you have to sit there and write a book or have all these things aligned, like an outline. You're not writing a report. All you're doing is you're putting whatever's in your brain at that moment on paper. It's a therapy, it's a therapy session for me. I put down whatever. I don't care about spelling things right or making sentences complete. I just write. So whatever's coming out, I put that down. And then once I'm done, I write down something that I'm grateful for, that I'm excited about in that day, because we have to get our mindset in the right set, especially on a Monday. Mondays are hard to, to get excited for. So writing something you're excited about in that day or that week, maybe it's to lose five to 10 pounds this month, right? And then I write down one, two, or three priorities that I need to get done that day. So we, we've been told that if we have more than three priorities, we have zero because we can't do it that, we can't do more. Um, it's like trying to do too much at one time. So what I would recommend starting with one, like one major priority. What do you want to get done that day? Then maybe up to three. And I write those down and that's my morning routine. And then after that, I, I go on with my day. Okay, so that is your first step. The evening routine looks like this. I cut off my uh, technology, all screens, one hour before bed. Trust me, this is going to help you sleep better. So if you can handle it, which I'm going to highly suggest, shut off all your screens, any social media, TV, 
uh, computers, laptops, everything that has a screen, shut it off one hour before bed. So if you go to bed at 11, shut it down at 10. Maybe you read a book, maybe you journal some more, maybe you do a little stretching, maybe take a bubble bath, maybe you talk with your family. I don't know, do something that feels nice that's gonna start to allow your brain and your body to relax before bed. And then again, I write down in my journal, I just write down something I'm proud of from that day, things that I'm excited about, any stresses in my mind at that moment. Because if we go to bed with stresses on our mind, then it stays with us and we don't sleep as well. Uh, and I think that is what a lot of us are dealing with because we have a lot of stress at this time of life. Like we're right in the middle of life and there's a lot to worry about and plan and be stressed with. So all of those sit in our brain because we're not processing them. We're not dealing with them. So the minute you write it down, your brain goes, oh, good. She's dealing with it. And then it relaxes the stressful thinking. It, it makes a huge difference. Might not change in the first day, but notice after a few days, this should help you sleep better. So that's my first step. And this is powerful because this is getting control of our mindset. Mindset is our first step in our program when I teach women how to lose the weight for good. Um, and I help you free yourself from all the habits that have kept you stuck. Okay, so that's step number one. And I'm just sitting here um, trying to make this... Pim Sometimes we're visual learners, so I'm speaking and I'm writing this. The next one is we're going to talk about our... Let's do our steps first. All right, we can talk about the food next. So your steps, daily steps. What I suggest is this, that you want to, first of all, track how much you're walking now. It might be a wake up call, okay? When I have a lot of uh, the first time women start to track their steps, they're like, oh, but I walk a lot, I move a lot. And then they're shocked that it's very, very little. Most of the time they're under 3000 steps a day. That's not okay because we're moving less, which means our metabolism is slower, our body's burning fat and, and, and calories slower, we're sluggish, and it starts to decline everything. Like that's why our energy starts to sink. So I'm gonna suggest that you start, if you're not currently getting at least 5,000 steps a day, get 5,000 steps a day. Now, if you sometimes get 5,000 and you're just struggling up and down, then aim for 8,000. 8,000 is the minimum that I shoot for. So if that sounds too high right now, start with five. Like move yourself up there slowly. So say for example, you're like a lot of the women that I talk with and they tell me I'm, I'm my average is 1800 steps a day or 2000 steps a day. That would mean that I would suggest that they increase it by 1000 for that week or that day. So for this week or for the first three days, I want you to increase it to 2800 or 3000 steps a day. Maybe you try to get to five, but if five feels too hard, then start with something in the middle, okay? Then you want to start to increase, and by the fourth week, so this is 30 days, by this fourth week, you should be getting 8,000 steps minimum every single day. That's your exercise. To be honest, you don't need formal exercise to lose weight and fat. That's like the icing on the cake. If you want to start to sculpt and tone your body and build muscle, yes, it's all great and important as we're aging, but to lose the weight, it's not. You just have to move more. And now here's the, here's the switch. A lot of times women will think that, well, I did my 30 minutes of workout today, I'm good. And then they sit for the rest of the day. You didn't do any good for yourself, okay? You're better off skipping that 30 minute workout and getting that 8,000 minimum steps a day. Trust me, there is so much more benefit to this. You're gonna increase your energy. Your joints are gonna feel better over time. Your body's meant to move, so it's gonna feel like it's actually doing something that it's supposed to do, right? You're gonna to start to lose the weight naturally. Your body's just gonna work. Your heart's gonna be better. Your, your body's going to work as it's supposed to. Everything starts to balance, and those hormones, they balance out a little bit more when we're moving, okay? So not only are you getting your mindset right, morning and evening, now you're moving more. The third step, and I'm gonna show you how to put all these together because they might sound like way too easy, which is the whole point. The third step is our plate perfect system. Now I'm gonna explain this, and if you want more information, if it's not clear enough or you just want more, let me know, just send me the information. I want the ebook, because I made an ebook. Can you see that? So plate perfect, okay? So let me talk about what this means. This means you're going to have four meals a day, okay? With these four meals, you want to say you have a plate. I'm gonna actually draw this for you. In the, plate, in the um, PDF book that I made, I actually have photos of this, but in case you just wanna know right now. So say for example, you have your plate, okay? I don't really care, have a dinner plate. I'm not gonna tell you to, to get a smaller plate. Your plate is this, okay? And I want you to draw, you don't have to draw a line in your plate, but imaginary line. And on this side, I want you to have your vegetables 
and see if I can write backwards, <laughs> your fruits, okay? Vegetables and fruits go on this side. Now, mostly vegetables, but fruits go there too, especially like breakfast stuff. Like we don't have a bunch of vegetables for breakfast. Most of the time I was having omelets or, you know, later breakfast. So you're filling the half of this plate with vegetables and fruits. Now what this does, number one, it gives you the vitamins that your body needs, gives you the fiber that your body needs, and it's volume, and it's good nutrition. So you're getting your vitamins, your nutrients, your all your good things into your body because we need it, right? We need it to thrive and live our best. It also tells your brain that you're eating. So you're not gonna be craving things throughout the day because in your brain, you're like, I didn't eat enough. And I just got this little portion of like a processed food. Now on the other side of this plate, I want you to imagine that you draw that, uh, half that on the one half, you're gonna do your lean proteins, that's a P, and the other quarter, you're gonna do your lean, I mean, your complex carbohydrates. Okay, so here's what it would look like. Say you have, you know, a salad for lunch. You're gonna have all your greens and your tomatoes, whatever vegetables you want here. And if you put some fruits, great. Then here, you're gonna do your protein. So your protein, you wanna really make sure that it fills this quarter of the plate. Think of things like you have your lean meat, say fish, uh, chicken, um, lean beef, shrimp. Um, I mean, you can even go with the vegetarian options, say like, your tofu, um, your tempeh, your, I mean, you could do eggs, uh, no, that's vegetarian. I um, mean, you could do dairy things like cottage cheese, Greek yogurt. And now I know that's not gonna like be like a really normal uh, uh, option here for your food or your plate, but think of that way in how you put all your foods together because after a while you'll be making like shakes or you know mixing things up in a bowl. As long as you have this premise here, you're getting everything your body needs to make it to the next meal so that you're not creating foods, that you're getting in the nutrition, that you're able to burn the right amount of fat and calories throughout the day and you start to rev their metabolism up. Because a lot of times we're under eating and that slows our burn down and that's why we don't lose the weight. We actually start to hold on to that weight and that's why we see that fluctuation. And on this side, you do your, we do need carbs. Carbs are not bad. So choose things that are whole grain. You can think like breads. So you could do like sprouted grain breads, like Ezekiel type of bread, sourdough bread. Um, you can do brown rice, couscous, quinoa, any kind of wrap, like a whole grain wrap. Think of things that are healthier, higher complex carbohydrates, okay? Those are gonna be your quick energy. They're gonna make you feel good, smiling. You're not gonna hit the, the ground and feel like I'm hangry and all that crazy stuff. Protein is gonna help to keep you satisfied and actually is your building block to help preserve your muscle mass now, uh, help your body recover and repair anything. All your organs are gonna run efficiently. Anything that needs to be repaired, recovered, um, stress, like all is being worked through protein. Protein is needed for that. And then obviously we know our vegetables and fruits, we went over that. Now you also want to add in a little bit of a fat here. So we'll put that with the carbs. So just think of like your healthy fats and you could do like a tablespoon or two, which would be the tip of your thumb, say like an avocado, uh, cut up like a quarter of an avocado. Um, you could do some olive oil. You can saute some foods or use some for your salad dressing. Um, just think of like, what are the healthy uh, fats that you can come up with that you like, okay? Um, I wouldn't do anything like that's high fat, um, not the best type of fat. Look at lean, I mean, uh, not lean, <laughs> that's lean protein. Healthy fat options. So I mean, if, even if you're having salmon as a protein, that has your healthy fat in it already, so it's like a bonus. But look at like things like chia seeds, um, nuts, um, you know, nut spreads, like peanut, uh, um, I like almond butters, peanut butters, all those type of things will have the healthy fat in it, but make sure it's not filled with other fillers, okay? So just make sure there's no sugars or other things that's added in there. So you're gonna eat this type of a meal, more or less. A protein shakes works here too for one of your meals or snacks. You can use like a cup um, of like, say your milk, your almond milk, regular milk, whatever type of milk here. Um, got your ice in there, you could do your fruits, you know, so you got your fruits, like your berries, your banana, whatever. Do a little fat, you know, maybe some nuts in there. And then um, carbs, are gonna, that'd be your fruits, if you're gonna add any fruits too. So shake all that up, you know, mix that up, blend that up, and it's gonna give you that the protein boost, right, with everything else mixed in. You can use that in, in the, um, you know, instead of doing a plate. So if you wanna do four plates, or say three plates in a bowl, three plates in a shake, the option um, is up to you, but it should more or less be these 
these items. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start your first meal of the day. I like to start my breakfast. Whatever time you're gonna have it, say it's seven, eight o'clock or six o'clock in the morning, that's your first meal. You're gonna count forward three or four hours and you're gonna have your second. Do not go more than four hours. You're going to be overshooting it. You're now way too hungry. You might start having the munchies. You might grab something when you don't even expect that you grab something. So make that line no more than four hours. So say you had breakfast at six, you're gonna have like a snack or a early lunch at 10, right? And then 11, 12, one, two, I could count. You're gonna have a snack, three, four, five, six, you have your dinner. Now, if you need a snack after dinner, that's okay, but here's where I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge you. Three hours before you go to bed, shut off all your foods. Now you can have herbal teas, or you can drink your water, you can do all the you know, non-calorie drinks, but three hours before bed, try to shut off all the foods, and then you're gonna go to sleep, you'll sleep better. Now remember, you're shutting off your screens an hour too, before you go to bed and you're going to sleep better because your food, your body's not gonna be processing the foods. And then you wake up in the morning and say you stop eating at seven in the morning and you eat your next meal, your breakfast at like six or seven, that's almost 12 hours of a fast when you're sleeping most of those hours. I guarantee you, guys, I guarantee you, this system, even though I know it might sound ridiculously simple because I've had women go, that's not gonna work, that's too easy. My body's not gonna respond. If you're serious and you are very intentional about this and you want any support, let me know. If you're not in our Facebook group, let me know. We'll get you in there. But follow this for 30 days. Get a new journal, get a new notebook, start writing out every single day. Am I following my morning, my evening routines? Am I getting in my steps five to 8,000 to start? And then by the end of that month, you're doing 8,000 minimum, maybe more. And then you're doing the plate perfect portions. Now, of course, on weekends and holidays, your foods might look a little bit different but try to stick to the plate perfect portions and maybe allow yourself one treat meal where you don't have to count or track or do any of that stuff, okay? You don't have to count calories. You don't have to do exercise. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to buy any extra foods. Just follow these principles with healthy foods for the most part, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect. I guarantee you, you're going to see a phenomenal shift. You will lose five to 10 pounds in this first month Sometimes more. Sometimes in the first week, I see women lose five pounds because they're just dropping a lot of water weight, um, getting their body moving again. Things start to move and shift and it's exciting and motivating. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to celebrating your first month with the three-step system. See you next time.